Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing the Shadow of Nebula demo. This is a short demo that they put together for their Kickstarter campaign. Um, this game is made by Bisonia, 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 something like that, and um, it's a point-and-click adventure game in a science fiction universe, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, instructions. Look at hotspots. Click. Examine hotspots. Highlight hotspots, that could be very interesting. Um, I'm sure it'll tell us those things. Let me get right into it. There was something in the space. A technology that was not derived from humans. It wasn't made for humans. It was found by humans and acquired. However, no one could comprehend this kind of knowledge. One day, a great genius had made a great discovery. I added another great, based upon that alien technology. It was beautiful, yet terrifying discovery. He knew how much of a threat his invention was. So he destroyed it, and disappeared. Unluckily, not all data was erased. Thirty years later, a space courier on his mission was near the Venus system. Unfortunately, space pirates were also there. After a quick battle, both ships were on collision course with the planet called Venice Blue. Oh, that was a collision. I think I said Venus. Obviously Venice. Chapter 1. Planet. Venice Blue. Do, do I have to click? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Here we go. That was a cool, that was a cool intro. It was very dramatic. I felt like, I feel drama. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on? I'm alive? Ship damaged, but there are colors. Enemy entered the atmosphere. I, I followed him. It's Venice Blue, abandoned mine planet. No one should be here. I need to contact... With the corporation. Yes, ask for help. Damn, I hope that radio works. It's getting better now. Ooh. Ooh, hello, art. Green crystals are broken. Without them, I won't be able to contact the corporation and ask for help. I need to find another one. Maybe in the abandoned colony I could find some? Okay. <clears throat> this art is awesome. 2.5D is sort of cool. Uh, now, I saw this before. Oh, I, oh my god. I love that so much. If you press space, it highlights the things you can click on. Every adventure game needs to have that feature. It's a door panel. It's broken. I need something to remove this cover. All right. Engine energy links. I think it contained energy wires for the matter compressor. It seems to be intact, but I don't know. If it was intact, I couldn't know this either way. What were the... No. Interstellar radio? Need this? Thanks, I can contact the corporation, but the crystals are destroyed. New entry, technology. Where is that go? Wait, how did I just... How did I just open that? Oh, right-click on nothing. Cyberspace deck? Alternative to this... Oh, yeah, there's a whole cyberspace, like, alternate world thing in this game. Um... That... They've said is obvious isn't isn't super fleshed out right now because it's um it needs a lot of it needs a lot of visual work to be like super 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 cool but this is gonna be its whole different a whole extra thing this is the info cube UI from Dave hi Mark last time you visited me in the hospital you left your ID card Doctor Wells was asking about you call me we'll talk something strange is going on from CC Fusion Module Mark we've got the urgent transport order check in at this base okay. Technology? Oh, these are the things. Black ore, very rare material. 
Used for construction of brain implants. Hmm. Government of the United Galaxy has established an independent science faction. Top priority is to obtain black ore from planets and produce brain implants for military purpose. The specific ore can only be found in 12% of all known systems. Green crystals were discovered in the caves of Laura, the fourth planet of Gizmo Star. Thanks to the special property of subsonic wave modulation, sp space wave modulation may be possible, which also makes interstellar communication almost as effective as in real time. That's really cool. Green crystals are no longer collected in mines. The reproduction proved to be very efficient in laboratories. The green glow around the crystals comes from their fluorescent properties. Diary. Job in the corporation. Enough! For a long time, I've been thinking about leaving the job. I feel used. Living in space is hard and lonely. There's something wrong with the corporation, and I'm afraid of it. Anyone who left the job disappeared. This is very suspicious. Leaving Cybercore. I've made my decision. Finally, I told the corporation this will be my last mission. I'll transfer this pulse batteries to a mega station, and that's it. I'm leaving the corporation. I was surprised by the corporation's reaction. They said that this was my will. Now I've crash landed on a planet, so maybe not their will so much. My gateway to other parts of cyberspace. No connection to SpaceNet. Home? Portal? Alright, this is- that's really- that's really cool, that cyberspace thing. <clears throat> that, I, I can see how that would be really- it's be really interesting. To have like, a, almost like a computer system kind of at your disposal all the time. There's so much stuff to look at. Engine wires? Wires going to the engine. Connection wires. Connect archives panel with the radio motherboard. Archives panel. This device to get access to all received messages and received messages. Close container. Can I open it? It's empty. Okay. Rod! One of the elements of the chamber. Engine hatch. I can't open it. What is the whoa? That's awesome. Hologram. Emergency exit? My head. I'm lucky that I'm still alive. So the hologram has switched itself to safe mode. It's broken, I can't control it. Alright. Navigation device? I need some tool to remove this cover and check if it's okay. What is this medallion? Okay. Lights? Alright. Is there- can I go any- is there another- can I go to the right, or is it, am I just in this room? Okay, what else is there for me to look at? Hole! It's very weird that metal rod could penetrate the solid floor. It's a piece of metal plate, it could be useful. Cool. Uh, what is this plate? A piece of floor. Nice. Main viewfinder? Just a screwed up hood. Alright, what have I not seen yet? So I need something to remove... Can I use this metal to, yeah, try to remove the cover? Kind of like as a pry bar? I've played adventure games. <laughs> I'm gonna use this piece of metal on everything. Alright, this is the door panel. Oh boy. It's a chip. Jumpers. Connect these jumpers to make an emergency exit. Wow. And switches. And these aren't doing nothing at all. Okay. Alright, so I've got... Alright, that panel's destroyed. Is this container closed? No, it's... I'm, I'm thinking now that I've got this panel to open stuff... Don't have the tools to open it? You have a, a piece of metal. Does that work? No. Okay. Uh, can I use it to open the navigation device? No? Okay. Oh, captain chair. Can I sit? Oh, energy gun. That seems useful. New entry technology. Alright, well, let me look at my gun. Energy coils are empty. Of course they are. So I guess I have to go into cyberspace to see that kind of journal-y thing. Into the info cube, because we have technology energy gun. Energy gun is powered by energy coils. Energy lensing phenomenon allows us to create power rays with customizable strength. This type of weapon is a high rate of spoilage caused by plastic X from energy coils are built. Very light and handy weapon. 
Mostly used by doing people doing jobs of increased risk. Okay. That's interesting. Um, it's not useful for me right now, unfortunately. Um, so let's see. So all of the things here I can do, right? I have this door panel. I can probably make the emergency exit if I connect the jumpers. If I could connect these jumpers to make an emergency exit. So I need some kind of wires. I don't want to cut these wires, because these, I'm trying to use, the, I want to use the communication board. What's this? Energy? Can't think it contain energy wires for the matter compressor. Can I... Use the metal with it? No? I'm gonna try to use the metal with everything. Okay, is there anything I haven't clicked on? Hologram navigation, viewfinder, captain's chair, rod hole. Um, engine service hatch. I need the tools to open the engine service hatch. Um, and oh, engine wires. Oh, I'll take one. Oh, cool. Alright. Small wire. Well, that could be... I could use that to jump the panel. Can I get my inventory while I'm in here? No? Connect these jumpers to make an emergency circuit. Oh, cool. Small wire. There we go. Alright, circuit. Circuit connected. Now I have switches. If I turn them all on... Whoa. I smell a puzzle. Okay. Interesting. I assume I want them all to light up, right? That seems likely. What do they each of them do separately? Which is the... This is the only one that lets the top one light up. Do they override each other? Now, why did that do that? Why did turning this one on change this instead of activate this one? That's weird. I'm trying to figure out the logic of it and I'm not... I'm struggling with that. They like. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, I got it. I don't know. I I don't understand the logic of that puzzle so much. I know that there's a different pattern of things that affected other things, but it opened the door. I'm happy. Um. I I, I clicked everything in this room, so let's head out here. Whoa. Engine airflow cabin looks really bad. It does. Smoke. Whoa! My head, what's going on? Feel a little dizzy. Oh, do you? Yeah. Um, crystals. Sharp like a razor. Uh, I can't take them. Can I use the metal to, like, take them? No. I assume all these crystals are the same. Mm -hmm. Um, what's this rock? Why is this interesting? Cold stone. Alright. 
Uh, I guess I'll keep going. Ah, crystal on the ground. Nice. And the machine. That's not working. This art is awesome right now. This background. Sort of like cartoon background. There's a wreck here. Don't see anything useful. I wonder if there's a cyberspace chip. Well, those are opposite sentences. Also, can I use my crystal with my gun? Is that... Energy coils. Oh, it's not crystals. It's coils. Was there something inside that needed crystals? I don't rem I think there might have been. I'm gonna go... I'll, I'm gonna explore and then maybe go back and do that. Do that later. My head. Pain. Yeah, you're not feeling so good, buddy. Big engine. If only I had the right tools, I could see if there are any power cells. Okay, that's that's good to know. Oh, and this one just had a power cell. Cool. Well, that I definitely could use for the ship. What is this vehicle? Miners used to have some nice tools. In the trunk. Nice, and I probably can't open it with a piece of metal, can I? Some kind of crowbar? No, okay. Alright, so I'll need some kind of crowbar to open this trunk to get the tools out. That is good to know. Oh, and we have an overworld map. Alright, crash site, abandoned colony. Alright, let's go to the abandoned colony. What? This place should be abandoned. What is he doing here? Doesn't look good. Crowbar. Well, that was quick. Fuse box? Can't open, it's too rusty. Can I... No? Okay. Wait, before I even go through that, I'm gonna go back and crowbar this thing open with the tools. Let's try. Nice. Frozen air. It can be useful. Oh, I thought that was a joke. Frozen air. Freeze anything in seconds. Okay. Can I open the engine with the crowbar by chance? No. Okay. Actually, let me, while I'm, before I move on to the colony, let me go back to the ship and see if the, um, love the smoke. See if the engine, if the power cell, oh wait, did this machine? Totally wrecked. Alright. Can I use the crowbar here? No? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I mean, adventure games use everything on everything, right? Let's... Oh, can I get some crystals with the crowbar? Because they're so hard. No? Okay. I got one anyway. I wanted to see if there's anything in here. The green crystals. These aren't green crystals now. These are... Need a tool to remove the color. To cover. But probably a more specific tool. Same with the engine hatch. Alright. Um, archive panel? Destroyed. Alright. Okay. Well, that was a good thought, anyway. Um, gonna head back to... So the abandoned colony. So I feel like I've done everything there is to do here. For now. At least. So I'm going to head back to the abandoned colony. Oh! Also, great feature there. Um, you can double click on an exit to teleport. Which is a great feature for adventure games. Because walking back and forth this just sucks. Here's a man. Think he suffers from cyber trance. Hello? Mm -hmm. Bull eh. 
Excuse me. Lesion. Swarm. Hey! Gold Prector. It's useless. If only I knew his cyber address, I could meet him in cyberspace. Interesting! So... The cyberspace virtual world is really a big deal. Could be water supply. Still hot. Hmm. Um... That the people can meet in cyberspace, that's actually really interesting. Cloth? Grab a piece. Nice, I got some cloth. Old dried up rag kinda stinks. Might be his, like, pee rag, that's gross. Um... My headache is almost gone. Hmm, that's good news. Old man? He's in cyber trance for sure. Hey! Rats in water. Man! Dog is angry. The dog! He doesn't even know that I'm here. Air conditioning? No power. Burned cover? Transfer case? This is just all... Um... Stuff? What about this bin? Empty bin. It's not an empty bin, there's crap in it. Scrap? Ooh, cyber scanner? I must take it, it's illegal. Now that's what I need to hear. Cyberspace scanner. Unfortunately, without a power source. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. Working cyber scanner. Let's find some cyber chip to scan. So we have a cyberspace deck and a cyberspace scanner now. Uh, and if we can find somebody's chip, can I, like, use it on the old man? Yeah. Oh, whoa. What does this do? It, like... So you can change the numbers. Oh. Okay, so now I want to go to 8. Oh, interesting. Okay, so 40... Seven. I've added the address to my portal. Interesting. So it's like a... You have to match the number before the thing goes down. That's cool. Whoa. And now if I go to the deck... Now, there should be... Oh, wait. There's some message... Oh, a message from... Mark, what happened? I've lost signal from your ship. Contact me. I'm worried. Hmm, I crashed. Cyber scanner. Cyberspace scanner allows to intercept pulses generated by cyber chips. After detecting the impulse, one needs to adjust the capture of the Derrick field waving amplitude. Okay. Then the scanner uses Barney module may determine the characteristics of waves and decode the chip address in cyberspace. The device is a standard equipment of White Wolves, special commando unit of the government of the United Galaxy. In other circumstances, possession of this is highly illegal. Sweet! World CSS. Cyberspace syndrome is an effect of the cyberspace overdose. CSS strikes all bodily functions in random order. People who fall ill with the CSS may suffer from all physical and mental illness. However, at the same time, in the cyberspace, these people can be quite normal. In the real world, they couldn't live anymore without proper care. People on Venice Blue. Venice is not an abandoned planet. I met people, probably former miners, they suffered from the CSS. The entire colony seems to be ruined. There must be some sane people who care about those with CSS. Too much for me. What's going on? Um... Oh, what happened? I was attacked by space pirates. Good to be alive on an abandoned planet. The worst case, I'm alone here. I'm not. So that's good. I must find some way to communicate. They will send an evacuation to him. Will they? Nice. Um... What's portal? Can I... Get rid of other parts of the cyberspace? Can I use the portal? Oh, to the old man cyberspace. Whoa.